Come on now, it's 12 o'clock somewhere, baby. Let these drums play. Night if it's night, and a big hearty salam alaikum to each and every one of you that's listening to us live, or that will be listening to us in archives. It is Friday, it is Friday, baby. It is Friday, I took myself a little time off yesterday and rode up to North Carolina up there in Cherokee country and and just partook in the mountains and 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 prayed to the to the to the spirits of that land and and um, gave a little homage to the spirits of the land and, and spoke and, and prayed a little bit and took a little time in the mountains and actually rested for a little while because, guys, you know, it has been a couple of hectic months with these moves and new plans and, and things that are, that are being put forward now. And, Hey, I feel a little bit rejuvenated. So the day I said, man, I'm going to play drums, I am going to play drums. I got to tell you guys, um, there are certain things in these spiritualities that teach us, that guide us, that love us and uplift us. See, but a lot of times we are so, so involved in our day-to-day lives that we forget to take care of ourselves. We're either taking care of other people, taking on jobs, and while driving this week, I I had a conversation with my better half, and we were talking about travels, and we were talking about things of that sort. And I want to ask you guys a question. How many people do you know that have never been out of their states? Shit, I've known some people that lived in Florida have never been to Key West. I know people that lived there and never been to Orlando. Just simply prisoners of their own towns, counties, or states. And I feel bad for those people. See, because people build their own prisons. People build their own walls around them. One necessarily does not have to have a lot of money to say to themselves, I'm going over to the next town. I'm going over to the next county. I'm going to do this because I need a break from this 
um, revolving circle that is sometimes our lives. See, there is some work that I want to share with you guys today. Especially for you guys who feel stagnant. For you guys who feel that you are trapped within your town, within your county, within your state. You need a break. You need to go out there and smell the flowers. You need to go out there and touch the beach. See, I was taught a long time ago that this would be a great ebo for a person to actually travel to the next county. If you don't have money to stay there, just, man, hey, go for a couple of hours. Breathe in the air. See a different atmosphere. And on your way there, at least spread a little bit of 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 candy spread a little bit of spread a little bit of of smoked fish a little bit of smoked corn S- spread these things all the way to your destination and back pick yourself a little bit of water from that place maybe go to somewhere and have a picnic maybe go and and see a mountain you know how sad it is for a person to be surrounded by mountains and never try to climb one? Never live by the beach and, and never go to the beach. I know that people have phobias about being able to leave certain places, and it's fine. I know people that are trapped inside their homes. But I'm going to ask you that this weekend... That this weekend, you take a trip. If you can't make it to the next county, the next state, make it to the next city. If you can make it to the next county, make it to the next county. But go see something that you haven't seen. Go get rejuvenated. Make yourself that ebo. Clean yourself. I bet you when you come back, you'll feel a million times better. And the next time you take a trip, you'll be able to go a little bit further. Break down those prison walls that you have built inside your minds. The world is yours. It is your oyster, as they say. All you have to do is open it up, take a taste. And next time, hell knows. You might be on your way to that place you've always dreamed of. Mental freedom. I am Candelo Kimbisa, and this is, it's 12 o'clock somewhere, baby. Let's keep these drums rolling with Milton Cardona. E più so me ne vuol timbo lo de me ne vuol timbo quelli a me ne vuol timbo lo de me ne vuol timbo me ne vuol timbo lo de me ne vuol timbo e più so me ne vuol timbo lo de me ne vuol timbo quelli a I want you to feel your body dancing. Find freedom within the drums.
Mamá Pere, ¡pum! ¡O bátala! That was Milton Cardona with Ayano Abenbefo Ayano. Guys, I am feeling great today. I hope to spread this cheer with each and every one of you. And I got a big announcement to make. I got a big announcement to make. Hold on to your seats. Because Candelo's Corner is coming back. Yes, prime time with Candelo's Corner. And it will be broadcast over Spreaker. And it will be, of course, at 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, as it used to be before. And I hope that you guys are ready, because it's going to be phenomenal. It's going to be better, bigger, and blacker than it was before. Yes, Candelo's Corner is coming back to, to prime time at 8 o'clock on Mondays. Okay, guys? So, guys, get ready for the ride. It's going to be great. We're going to be doing our thing. And, hey... I can't wait to have all these wonderful guests back with me. I can't wait to have this, the, our old audience that could only listen at night. So we're going to be doing that, guys. So I hope that you guys join me on this new old venture and join us back on Candelo's Corner. Guys, 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 guys. As I sit here today, I actually um, wrote some dates down, okay, I wrote, I actually wrote down dates, okay, um, I wrote down dates to where we're all going to be, um, in this, in, 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 during the next, during this year, sorry, so I actually took the time and wrote down the times, um, I know that in February, in Botanica Abre Camino, I do not know the date, but I do know that Zen Moise will be visiting there, I believe that next week, I believe that next week, Ifa Ibeyu will be visiting the Conjure Shop in Omaha, Nebraska. Also, we have and in the in the line in the in the in the line which they're going. Okay, the Indy Conjure Fest. Yes, in Indianapolis, in Indianapolis, May 29th through the 31st. Then comes St. John's Weekend in New Orleans. Yes, New Orleans. Well, first, let me tell you who's going to be at the Indy um, Conjure Fest. Um, Tata Kampu, um, Duchess, um, Lady Duchess, um, myself, um, uh, Hulu Zen Moise, um, TJ Vansel, and his lovely wife will be at um, the Indiana, Indianapolis um, Conjure Fest. Okay, St. John's Weekend in New Orleans, the 19th to the 21st. Um, will be Mama Star, um, Hudu Zen Moise, um, shit, there's a whole bunch of people and I can't remember because I couldn't put all the damn neighbor, n- names on the damn board. Then we have the Conjure Shop in Nebraska, um, June 26th to the 28th, um, where we will be um, Hudu Zen Moise, um, Dorothy Morrison, and myself, okay? Next millennium in Omaha, Nebraska will be the 31st through August 2nd, and that will be Charles Porterfield, um, Charles Porterfield, Ifai Bayou, um, myself, Doc Beverly, Michelle Jackson, man, so many people, I cannot name them all, so we will be there. Then, then guys, of course, it is the Detroit Hoodoo Heritage Festival. The first one, baby, the very first one. And Andy Faibeyu. Yes, I did say you were gonna be there. Love inside the conjure shop in no no inside next millennium. Detroit the Detroit Hoodoo Heritage Festival, August 15th through the 16th at the Motown Witch. Yes, we will be joining the Motown Witch, Yvette Wyatt and her wonderful husband Calvin on the 15th of the 16th of August, okay? There is going to be a heap of us there, just the same names I just said, so go check that out. Now, there is something new that was added, okay? We will be in Myrtle Beach. Yes, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, from the 12th to the 13th. That'll be Mama Star, Hudu Zen Moise, and myself will be in Myrtle Beach 
um, time, um, um, the name of the event is to be announced. I don't remember the name of the, the event, but we're good. The Meyer Hog Conjure Gala in Denver, Colorado is, is yet to be announced. So we have that. And we also have Botanica Abre Caminos again in September. All right. On September or October. It depends on which one um, Tata Campo um, fixes. We already have a little bit of group of people. We're trying to see if we're going to get more. So do check that out. Also, the MLD Costume Ball. It will be in October, close to Halloween. So please do check that out, guys. Thank you all. Thank you all for listening to this little thing. And when I come back, I'll read y'all a story. You're listening to It's 12 o'clock somewhere. Let's let these damn drums play. I'll be right back. La, 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 eh, chola. La, 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 eh, chola. Chola con tanta manilla. Y yo no tengo dinero. La, 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 eh, chola. La, 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 eh, chola. Chola con tanta manilla. Y yo no tengo dinero. La, 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 eh, chola. La, 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 eh, chola. Chola con tanta manilla. Y yo no tengo dinero. La, 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 eh, chola. La 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 he hecho la, chola con tanta manilla y yo no tengo dinero. La 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 he hecho la, la 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 he hecho la, chola con tanta manilla y yo no tengo dinero. La 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 he hecho la, la 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 he hecho la, chola con tanta manilla y yo no tengo dinero. La 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 he hecho la, la 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 he hecho la. Chola con tanta manilla y yo no tengo dinero. La 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 he hecho la, la 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 he hecho la. Chola con tanta manilla y yo no tengo dinero. La 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 he hecho la, la 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 he hecho la. Chola con tanta manilla y yo no tengo dinero. La 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 he hecho la, la 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 he hecho la. Chola con tanta manilla y yo no tengo Tanta manilla, y yo no tengo dinero. Chola con tanta manilla, y yo no tengo dinero. Chola huengue con tanta manilla, y yo no tengo dinero. Chola con tanta manilla, y yo no tengo dinero. Chola con tanta manilla, y yo no tengo dinero. Eh, hey, mamá chola con tanta dinero, manilla de oro, su cuerpo es nada. Mamá chola con tanto dinero. Mamá chola con tanto dinero, manilla de oro, su cuerpo sin nada. Mamá chola con tanto dinero, manilla de oro, su cuerpo sin nada. Mamá chola con tanto dinero, manilla de oro, su cuerpo sin nada. Mamá chola con tanto dinero, manilla de oro, su cuerpo sin nada. Mamá chola con tanto dinero, manilla de oro, su cuerpo sin nada. Mamá chola con tanto dinero, manilla de oro, su cuerpo sin nada. Vamos a dar mamá chola, mayumbe, tango va a correr. Vamos a dar mamá chola, mayumbe, tango va a correr. I see Fai Bayou getting down. Mambo Yansa is waving her skirt around. You bet, old, you bet the Motown Judge has joined the dance. I see he is still dancing with us. Mr. Obatala has taken off his hat and um, started swinging to the music. Chola, 
niña linda, la mamá chola. Niña linda, niña linda, niña linda, la mamá chola. Niña linda, niña linda, niña linda, la mamá chola. Niña linda, niña linda, niña linda, la mamá chola. Niña linda, niña linda, niña linda, la mamá chola. Niña linda, niña linda, niña linda, la mamá chola. Niña linda, niña linda, niña linda, la mamá chola. Niña linda, niña linda. Chola, mamá chola, Piriningo te está esperando, Piriningo te está esperando, Piriningo te está esperando. Mamá chola, mamá chola, Piriningo te está esperando, Piriningo, Piriningo, Piriningo te está esperando. Mamá chola, mamá chola, Piriningo te está esperando. Mamá chola, chola, wengi, Piriningo te está esperando. Mamá chola, mamá chola, Piriningo te está esperando. Chola, wengi, wengi, wengi. Pirindingo te está esperando. Mamá chola, mamá chola, pirindingo te está esperando. Pirindingo, pirindingo, pirindingo te está esperando. Mamá chola, mamá chola, pirindingo te está esperando. Pirindingo te está esperando, pirindingo te está esperando. Mamá chola, mamá chola, pirindingo te está esperando. Pirindingo, mamá chola, pirindingo te está esperando. Mamá chola, mamá chola, pirindingo te está esperando. Con tanta manilla, con tanta manilla, yo sin ninguna. Niña linda, con tanta manilla, con tanta manilla, yo sin ninguna. Niña linda, con tanta manilla, con tanta manilla, yo sin ninguna. Niña linda, con tanta manilla, con tanta manilla, yo sin ninguna. Niña linda, con tanta manilla, con tanta manilla, yo sin ninguna. Niña linda, con tanta manilla, con tanta manilla, yo sin ninguna. Niña linda, con tanta manilla, con tanta manilla, yo sin ninguna. Niña linda, con tanta manilla. Yo sin ninguna Niña linda con tanta manilla Mamá chola yo sin ninguna Niña linda con tanta manilla Manilla yo sin ninguna Niña linda con tanta manilla Mamá chola yo sin ninguna Niña linda con tanta manilla Mambe Yo Yo That was Mamá Chola from Lucas Brandoli and his group Baraco Guys, oh guys, oh guys we are feeling good today on it's 12 o'clock somewhere. And today, of course, um, since um, I started the other day and spoke about, um, I, I, I told a story about Anansi, okay? But I never told you who Anansi was. So I, you know, I knew who Anansi was because, you know, of West Indians and stuff like that there. But I want to share with you a little something that I found on myth, um, mythology.net, okay? This is by Professor Geller. It was updated April 8th, 2017. Facts about um, Anasi. The origin is Ashanti. Um, the cult center is the West Indies and the parts of Africa. Oro is a storyteller and a deity. The symbol is the spider. His parents were Asati Ya and Niyama. Niyami, sorry, his spouse is Aso or Go Nori. His children are Ingiuma and others unnamed. Who is Anansi? Anansi is a king of stories, the trickster, the joke maker, and the teacher of those who would follow these traditions. Anansi can be summoned by the word by those with the gifts for stories, either to listen to a well-told tale or to help someone who is talented but just beginning to become a master storyteller. His origins come from the Ashanti people of Ghana, who have brought the traditions to the Caribbean with them where they truly blossomed. Other stories are told throughout West Africa, but they are most prolific in locations such as Jamaica. His family, Anansi, as a child, was a godly manifestation of his mother, the earth. 
and his father the sky. So is true the representation of all things on heaven and earth. He has many children with his wife, Aso. But the most notable child is Mikina. And I am so sorry. Is a boy who plays significant part of the most popular legends regarding the bringing of the wisdom to the world. Anansi appears to those he interacts with as a spider, a man with spider-like features, or some mix of both. Most commonly a spider with a man's face or head, or a man with eight legs. He is always play playing tricks, telling stories, or causing some form of other mischief. His interactions in the world have been very important because he brings both sides of stories and wisdom. Anansi brings stories to the world. Anansi looked around him, enjoying the world, but seeing that it was rather a boring place, realizing that people had no stories to tell because his father, Nayama, Nayami, was hoarding them all in a box in the sky. Anansi set out to plan to take them from his father. He rose into the sky in the silken thread that he had spun and approached Dayama to ask him could he give them to the people so they could enjoy the stories and learn from their wisdom. His father was impressed that Anansi had even found a way to approach him. So even though he did not want to release the stories, assigned Anansi with what he thought was an impossible task. Nayama, Nayami, sorry, told his son that he could bring four creatures with him. He would trade Anansi the stories for them. The creatures were the most fearsome in creation. Enomini, a large, a huge python, and Exekbo, a large, hungry leopard and the deadly Marabo, the hornets, and the invisible fairy, who was famous for her pride, greed, and quick temper. As Anansi left, declaring that he would do these tasks, his father laughed at him, thinking that it was impossible, and all combined would be insurmountable. Anansi himself wondered how he could do this, but he was determined. Soon he returned in the order to beat the best traits of all four creatures. He would have to use his best trait, his trickery. He devised a plan to, be beat, to defeat each and every one of them and put them into motion. First he sat in front of the, the, the Onami's, Onimi's lair and pretended to argue with himself. First he would say it is not, and then follow it with it is so. Soon the Paisan's curiosity was aroused, and he asked Anansi what he was doing. Anansi told Onini that his wife said that the stick he was holding was no longer that than a snake. Why he thought the snake was longer, Onini said that there was an easy way to sort it out. He would stretch himself out next to the stick. Anansi suggested that since it was a difficult for a snake to stretch himself out of all his curves to the full length of the stick, they should tie it all up to it, and he might no longer be. Only me agreed. And this was how his vanity allowed Anani to capture him for Nayama. Next was Osebo, whose strength was legendary. Anansi dug a deep, pit, a deep pit. The next morning he found that Osebo, trapped in it, offered to help, and he spun a rope with his webs, daring Osebo to use his strength to get out of the pit. When Osebo began climbing, he became so entangled in the web the more he struggled to get higher, the more tangled he got. Finally, he could not move, 
and this was how Nancy used Oxobo's own strength to capture him. For the next creature, Anansi cut a small hole in a gourd and made a plug for the hole. He then gathered water in a huge leaf. He poured half of it over his head and the other one in the hornet's nest, ruining it. When Motboro, the hornets angrily flew out and Nancy exclaimed that the rains had come early but that the hornets could hide inside the gourd. The first flew in, and the rest of the hornets followed closely. This is how Anansi used the hive mind that gave them the hornet's strength in numbers against them. Finally, he had the trap, the crafty fairy, Mont Atia. He knew his final task would be the most difficult, because he knew of her weakness for yam paste. Anansi crafted a gum baby, attached it to the web line to his head, and then set the bowl of yam paste that Anna had made into the lap. Soon she, they, she came along and saw the yam paste. She could not resist and ask the gum baby for permission to have some. Anansi pulled the web and making the gum baby's head and they dug in it. She dug in and eating in all the pace. When she was finished, she thanked the gum baby. Now Nancy did not pull his wave. She was annoyed and thanked the gum baby again, who remained silent. She became more and more angry, and she slapped the gum baby. Her hand became entangled in the web, and then she attacked with her other arm which became also entangled. As her rage grew, she attacked with her legs until her finally the, she was fully trapped. Anansi had once Motavis pride and anger against her. Taking the final creature to his father, Ayama announced that Anansi, Anansi had successfully completed the task that had been set for him and presented Anansi with a box containing the stories of the world. These are the stories of Anansi. I hope you enjoyed them as I did. And maybe it'll teach you a little bit about all the human traits. You are listening to It's 12 O'Clock Somewhere, baby. And I am Candelo Kimbisa. I want to take a little time to thank everybody that's in our chat room. And the chat room is full because I see EF Steel, I see Tata Kampu, I see Vet the Motown Witch, I see Miss Cat, I see, I see, I see, my goodness, there are so many people here. Mambo Yanza, EF Steel, um, uh, Miss Cat Davis, who else is here? Cassie Durham. Someone else showed up late and said, Hi, Miss Sonia Freeman. Hey, baby. I hope you guys are having a good time today. Today we are playing a whole bunch of things. Mr. Obatala, I forgot to say about you, baby. How you doing? We are doing great around here. I hope you're enjoying your day. Let me play these drums because this thing is getting good around here. I am Candelo Kimbisa. This is It's 12 O'Clock Somewhere, baby. Please enjoy this tune, take off your shoes, and shake them hips. I'll be right back. Negro, que me de la mano, tiene que ser negro fino. Blanco, que me de la mano, tiene que ser mayombero como yo. Blanco, que me dé la mano. 
que me dé la mano Tiene que ser gangulero como yo Negro que me dé la mano Que me dé la mano Tiene que ser negro fino Negro fino Blanco que me dé la mano Que me dé la mano Tiene que ser mayumbero como yo Pero negro que me dé la mano Tiene que ser negro fino, blanco que me dé la mano, tiene que ser gangulero como yo. Agua San Miguel, agua San Miguel, agua San 
San Miguel, agua San Miguel, agua San Miguel, candela brava. Arriba los seres que están coronando allá arriba. 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 something today guys remember that on monday we will be bringing back candelo's corner at eight eastern standard time okay this will be an hour and a half long show with guest guest appearances and things of that sort monday it would just be um it would just be an introduction to the show what we're going to be speaking about and things of that sort so remember to join us on monday on this 12 o'clock somewhere and remember to join us at eight o'clock eastern standard time for that also today i want to share something with you why mourn why mourn i know that it is a human condition where we um miss the the physical presence of people but we as spiritual people or claim to be spiritual, believe in the afterlife. We believe that people evolve also in the spiritual planes. Why mourn when our dearly departed are in presence of their celestial father and 12 teachers and a multitude a legion of ancestors is only another part in our existence. So let's rejoice with them. Let's lift them up. I'm not saying that you cannot miss their physical presence, but you must rejoice in the fact that they that their cocoon has been broken, that the things of his life are now gone. As always, may all the egoons and shadows that accompany you have all the necessary light. I am Candelo Canvisa, and from where I sit, that's it. Salam alaikum, everyone. See you on Monday.
haitiano es muy mala de comprender. Al agua le dicen gloria a la candela de candelo, candelito, hay candelo, hay candelo. Yo anduve todo y todo buscando un condenado que dijera bacalao, yo lo decía la mujer, candelito, hay candelo, candelito, hay candelo, hay candelo, hay candelo. Enciendo peca al salado, me dicen pues son salé, como van a bucané, le dice al plátano asado, y el arroz que está graneado, le dicen digigre, y el candelito, hay candelo, candelito, y hay candelo, pues ya le dicen adiós y a los molondrones de bombón, y a los jefes de judú, le llaman papá bocón, candelito, hay candelo, candelito, hay candelo. La sociedad bonsoir, bonsoir, cote musua, cote tapia puja le zumbinante. Dice el caballo que a donde te rogí el pañuelo, pa' llamar candelo se dice. A un belie, a un tone, cote musua, cote tapia, cote pan pudanse, para un desamentario, salía vergán. It's 12 o'clock somewhere was brought to you by Kimbisa.org, the Motown Witch.com, and people like you. <laughs> 